Hello everyone. In our previous example for uh, digital electronics, we have implemented a 4x1 MUX with uh, ex necessary external logic gates for a specific Boolean function. Right now, we'll solve another problem. However, we're using a decoder this time. And we'll write the question here. So, using a decoder. and external gates design the combinational circuit defined by the following three boolean functions so this time we're working with a decoder and three boolean functions and the three boolean functions are as follows they're given as F1 being X bar, Y bar, sorry, X bar, Y, Z bar, plus XZ, and F2 being X, Y bar, Z bar, plus X, Y, X bar, Y, F3 being X bar, Y bar, Z bar, plus X, Y. So this is the question now. We need to create a decoder that will gen that will uh, well we need to design a combinational circuit actually that defines these three boolean algebra using a decoder and the external gates so what we do here we need to actually transform this f1 and f2 and f3 into the form where we can actually use in our decoder uh, with all the possible combinations for example here uh, x bar y z bar plus x and z is really equal to x bar y use another color for the solution x bar y z bar plus x y plus y bar z and this one is really the equivalent to this, we just needed to include the y's to know where how they were used with the to create our min term function. So this really equals to x bar y z bar plus x y obviously expanding this one plus x y bar there's a missing z plus x y bar z. And what this gives us is this midterm function here with 2, 5, and 7. So now we've created this for the first one. Now we do the same for the second one, which is x, y bar, z bar plus x bar, y, z plus z bar. And of course you get x, y bar, z bar plus x, y, z plus x bar y z bar and this gives you obviously the min terms 2 5 and 7 no that was the first one so this gives us 2 3 and 4 for the third one here we get x bar y bar z bar plus x y z Z bar. And what does that give us? It is again x bar y bar z bar plus x y z plus x y z bar with the following min terms. Zero six seven.
now that we have all of these functions now we know the outputs that will generate these functions individually so drawing the circuit here of course there's three outputs here uh, so eight outputs as we can see we can see a seven as the maximum so we're gonna have zero to seven outputs and obviously that would mean eight outputs and for a decoder with eight outputs you need to the power we need here means to the power n and n hence three inputs so this is a three by eight decoder so zero one two three four five six seven and the inputs are you can say from the boolean algebra we have they are x y and z of course with an enable pin e and now we need to do the circuitry of this output to align with these min terms that we just created or derived so at 2 5 and 7 the function f1 is chosen in this fashion so you get 2 5 and 7 So that's your F1 or 2, 2, 5, and 7. Change the color for the other ones. We get for F2, we have 2, 3, and 4. So it's 2, the same one here. And then we have a 3 and 4. Yeah, 2, 3, 4. We end up with our F2. Now we're remaining with the F3, which is 0, 6, and 7. So we have F3. We can draw it here. There's another color since we've been doing that. This is out of three. The numbers again were zero, six, and seven. So we have seven here. And then we have six. And then zero. Now what what's really this one is zero. There's nothing connected to the to the one here, so we keep it zero. And so these are all the connections for F1, F2, and F3. And we did this basically. We designed the combination circuit that that is defined by these three boolean algebra, or three boolean functions F1, F2, and F3 using logic, external gates, and a decoder. I hope this helps, and good luck on your exam.